I, I end the, the open forum and invite Professor Ed Tadim, Professor of Asian Studies, to give the closing remarks. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, um, Aris, for uh, masterfully handling this uh, lecture at very short notice. Thank you, Kevin. Um, just, just a few parting thoughts, maybe, which uh, I'd like to leave you. One is perhaps the uh, Thai elites should learn from Philippine elites um, in the manner by which the Philippine elites have captured electoral politics, whereas the Thai elites are, um, don't know how to handle electoral politics and tend to uh, uh, shy away from it, if not uh, totally dismantle it, whereas the Philippine elites have have mastered the art of uh, electoral politics and turned it to their own advantage. Um, another uh, comparison with Philippines, perhaps, is that we have no monarchy, but we have monarchies. Uh, Forty or so families hold uh, political and economic power, and our monarchies in themselves considering the, the breadth and the length of their control of the Philippine economy, as well as that they are in the control of Philippine politics. So we, perhaps we do better than Thailand in that respect. Um, the Philippine left is still around, and uh, like Thailand is hopelessly split, but all of the splinter elements are into electoral politics. Uh, involved, uh, and they also they of course fight with each other in uh, in Parliament, in Congress, uh, even if they ostensibly espouse the same uh, the same basic principles. Uh, another more comparison, perhaps, is Marcos martial law and Thai martial laws, uh, martial law regimes. We have only had one. Thailand has had quite a lot, and. Uh, Something to consider, how do you compare? Marcos was much more sweeping in the early uh, months of martial law in incarcerating everyone that he felt would stand in the way of his uh, so-called Bagum Lipunan. Whereas the Thai military at this point seems to be a bit more circumspect and uh, hesitant to really uh, uh, go all out and stamp out the opposition. They, they invite journalists, academics, and other opposition leaders, keep them for a few days, and then release them. I could be wrong, though, in terms of the uh, tenacity and the force of martial law, because Kevin pointed out earlier that we don't really know what's happening in the, in the countryside. It could be actually much worse than what has been uh, uh, published in the papers. And then another interesting comparison, two populist leaders, Taksin and Erap, and uh, Erap Estrada. Uh, one basic uh, difference I suppose, is that while Taksin was able to do what he said he, he was going to do, in the case of Erap, he did the opposite of what he said he was going to do in terms of uh, uh, Erap Parasamahira type of uh, uh, political agenda. And lastly, perhaps on a um, not exactly frivolous note, but uh, Ben Anderson, Benedict Anderson was in town a couple of months ago, just before the coup, and he, he told me a fantastic tale about his own interpretation of what's going on in Thailand. And uh, well, Ben Anderson, of course, is known for looking at the oddities of a particular situation, interpreting it in, in some ways that would actually astound anyone. And he told me this fantastic tale about what is really going on in Thailand. Uh, and he said it's, it's all about the Chinese ethnic um, society. He says that Thailand has actually been transformed into a, Chi into a China. Uh, Taksin is Chinese, the roy royalty is Chinese, businessmen are Chinese. Uh, and that the ethnic ties have actually almost disappeared from the picture. Those of you who have done Thai history, and you look at the photos of uh, Thai monarchs in the past, uh, they, they don't look like uh, the Thais of today. They're, uh, more, they look more like Malays than, than the Thais that we see today. So that particular 
uh, segment of uh, ethnic Thai society seems to have disappeared. So Anderson says, uh, what has been taking place is this, the Chinesization or the signification of, of Thai society. And it is this, it is this group that has been split and has been fighting each other. And he even talked of triads, uh, uh, criminal syndicates that have now become legal, legalized and all that. Anyway, I hope Ben Anderson comes up with an article uh, that would explain this particularly fantastic thing. Um, okay, uh, again, apologies for underestimating the interest of Filipino students and scholars on this matter. Um, there was a move earlier for us to transfer to the auditorium, but that would entail a lot of uh, you know, hassle. So again, thank you very much, and we hope to see you again.